SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk has just revealed a new timeline for the maiden orbital flight of Starship. Notably, this new update almost completely rolls out the possibility of a landmark flight this August. Why? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The SpaceX CEO says that SpaceX's first successful orbital Starship launch will probably occur between 1 and 12 months from now revealing a surprising amount about the near future of the next generation rocket program in a short tweet. The famously over-optimistic CEO's latest Starship schedule estimate is uncharacteristically cautious, hedged, and open-minded while simultaneously setting some reasonable expectations about the likelihood of success. First publicly unveiled in September of 2016, the fully reusable next-generation rocket that eventually became today's stainless steel Starship was tentatively scheduled to begin orbital flight testing in 2020. About two years after that first announcement, CEO Elon Musk unexpectedly sacrificed years of development work on Starship structures when he decided to replace the rocket's carbon fiber composite airframe with stainless steel. Years later, it's still hard to say if that decision was the right one, but Starship development has been surprisingly unperturbed by such an immense last-second design change. While Musk was saying almost the same thing 12 months ago, the CEO now believes that Starship's first orbital launch attempt could happen as early as next month, which is September of 2022. At the same time, Musk believes that the first orbital launch attempt could be successful, although it's not entirely clear how he defines success. Less optimistically, his August 2nd tweet also implies that he wouldn't be surprised if it takes SpaceX a year and multiple attempts to achieve Starship's first successful orbital launch. It's even possible to interpret his tweet as a warning that Starship's first orbital launch, while more likely to be successful, could be up to 12 months away. Somewhere in the middle, four to eight months from now, is a more reasonable bet for Starship's first successful orbital launch. As of early August, no aspect of recent Starship or Super Heavy Booster testing is particularly encouraging for a hypothetical September launch attempt. Super Heavy B-7 is still in the middle of repairs after surviving an accidental explosion, and Starship 24's latest round of testing, while not yet destructive, has been sluggish. If SpaceX, beginning on August 3rd, abruptly flips a switch and starts to test Ship 24 with some degree of urgency, it's possible that the Starship could be cleared for the first orbital launch attempt by the end of August. However, Super Heavy is a much larger hurdle. Aside from the apparent removal of all Booster 7's 33 Raptor engines, which will likely take weeks to reinstall and recover, its status is somewhat ambiguous. Even if it's possible that Booster 7 will still be used for the maiden orbital mission, SpaceX teams are preparing Booster 8 for a potential release in the coming days. If SpaceX decides to fast-track Booster 8, which is nearly ready for engineless proof testing, the super heavy side of Starship's orbital launch debut is probably at least two or three months away from flight readiness. Additionally, future vehicles are also lining up as well at Starbase. The SpaceX crew continues stacking operations of Ship 25, the vehicle currently paired with Booster 8, after a month's pause of these operations and a trip to the midbay. We can see that its nose cone can now be seen outside of the tents completed and with most of the heat shield tiles. Meanwhile, some sections of Ship 26 were spotted both inside and outside of the tents. Luckily, some photos captured by Kevin Randolph show off Ship 26's payload bay in Tent 3. That really gives a good sense of progress on this upcoming ship. While Booster has also started stacking in the Mega Bay beginning with its methane tank, both Booster 10 and its pairing Starship Ship 27 had its aft dome sleeved as well. Moreover, Ship 27's methane sump and transfer tube were seen most recently. S-27's forward dome also was moved into Tent 1 yesterday. Aside from rapidly building vehicles at Starbase, tons of activity on and around the OLM are taking place. As things seemingly look to be back to normal at the launch pad, what's next on the testing schedule? S24 static fire or tests on B7 and B8? Realistically, assuming SpaceX isn't going to take a massive risk and try to launch an unqualified or minimally qualified rocket, Starship's first orbital launch attempt is unlikely to occur before October or November. It's even harder to estimate whether Starship's first full launch will be successful. If success is defined by simply reaching orbit or deploying a few next-generation Starlink satellites into orbit, SpaceX's odds are not terrible. 
If success includes a super heavy booster catch and Starship surviving its first orbital re-entry, they trend towards slim to none. But perhaps SpaceX will defy the odds. Musk's return to discussing Starship's existence on Twitter may signify that the team is readying for an upcoming orbital test flight for the rocket in the coming days, weeks, or months. The timeline is unclear for when Starship would launch again, but it only shows that the company is still pushing forth with the venture despite the results it would garner. SpaceX recently prioritized testing the B7.1 test tank, the latest in a long line of test tanks designed to verify the performance of Starship and Super Heavy and qualify new designs and manufacturing techniques without risking an entire upper stage or booster. As its name suggests, B7.1 shares many of the significant design changes that SpaceX had already implemented on Super Heavy Booster 7. Notably, this tank prototype has survived a series of tests that repeatedly attempted to destroy it. It's unclear what exactly SpaceX tested on B7.1, but the goal of the test could have been as simple as verifying that Super Heavy Booster 7 can withstand the weight of a fully fueled Starship, which is around 1,350 tons or around 3 million pounds sitting on top of it. It could have also been used to simulate an entire orbital launch from Super Heavy's perspective, replicating many of the forces Starship boosters will experience between liftoff and landing. Given that Booster 7's upgraded thrust puck had already made it through stress testing, B7.1 didn't have much to add there, but it may have been useful for estimating the compressive strength of the current Super Heavy booster design. Up next, Starship S24 is expected to begin static fire testing as early as August 3rd or 4th. The world still focuses on the massive future that SpaceX has for the spacecraft that will soon be the vessel that will arrive on Mars and bring humans to the neighboring planet. Despite its reusability feature, Musk and SpaceX plan to create 1,000 units of the Starship rocket to bring many missions, including the crewed venture for the company. It still falls under the multi-planetary goals that SpaceX aims to achieve for the world. Nevertheless, it needs to start from the bottom and have a successful orbital launch test that would signify the spacecraft's capabilities to bring its entirety to Mars. Additionally, SpaceX needs to prove its safety and reliability for future missions, especially as it aims to deliver a reusable rocket for multiple ventures. How do you feel about Elon Musk's tweets? Do you think it's too optimistic to hope for the first orbital launch of Starship next month? Or do you think that SpaceX will indeed defy expectations? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. In any case, my time is up, and I want to take this time to thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And as a quick note, if you have advertising needs, you can contact us directly via email. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.